What are optimistic and pessimistic clocking mechanisms? Both optimistic and pessimistic clocking mechanisms determine how the transactions in our application access the underlying data in the database. Optimistic clocking means a specific record in the database table is open for all the user sessions or transactions. While using optimistic clocking, we will not be locking any of the database records. Instead, every time the transaction reads some data, it will also read the version number or timestamp. These are two columns that we add to each and every table in our database. And every transaction, when it reads the data, will get these two. And if, a, if another transaction updates the same record, it will update the version number and timestamp as well. So the first transaction, when it is ready for an update, it will check if the version number and timestamp that it has initially read is the same in the database. If another transaction has updated it, then it knows that the data is dirty and it has to discard that transaction or redo the transaction by reading the data again. So in optimistic locking, we are very optimistic and hopeful that another transaction will not update the data. So we are not going to lock the database records. This is very helpful when our application is dealing with a lot of reads and a few updates. In pessimistic locking, this is where our application will explicitly lock the records or record or even the entire table for read write only for the current transaction. The other transactions have to wait until the transaction finishes its work because we have exclusive lock on it. Pessimistic locking provides better integrity than optimistic locking, but we have to design our applications carefully to avoid deadlock situations. In pessimistic locking, appropriate transaction isolation levels need to be set so that the records can be locked at different levels. The general isolation levels are read uncommitted, read committed, repeatable read, and finally serializable isolation. It is not a great idea to read uncommitted data as the users, it uses data from one transaction that's not completely committed from a different transaction. On the other hand, serializable isolation is used to protect phantom reads. Phantom reads are not usually problematic and this isolation level tends to perform very poor. Uncommitted or committed Read committed and repeatable reads are what we use frequently when we do pessimistic locking. I will do a lecture or a video on these isolation levels specifically. For now, optimistic locking and pessimistic locking are two different ways in which we can control how transactions in our application access the data in the database. In optimistic locking, we have a version number or timestamp or both on each and every database record and every time a transaction reads the data, it gets them, and before it updates the data, it will make sure that they both are same. If not, it will discard the transaction. Pessimistic locking is where we explicitly lock the DB records or the table itself. We have different isolation levels and read committed and repeatable read are the frequently used isolation levels.